Yo, what's going on, man? Your boy Positive Flow in my shop here, man. And um, believe it or not, it's raining again. One hundred percent, one hundred percent yesterday, one hundred percent today. But tomorrow, showtime. <laughs> Saturday, man. My client. You guys remember the white big um, expedition? Uh, she's got her a suburban now, so. You know, she she said, hey, you can come in clean any time you get ready. I know it's been raining, so whenever you tell me, just text me and I'll be ready. <laughs> so, hey, I'm happy about that, man, to just get outside and um, just get, get back to what I love doing, you know. What I want to talk to you guys today about, man, is timing. People spend a lot, a lot, a lot of time when they don't have to. I was watching a guy the other day. I was out and about, you know, and he just kept looking over there at me and, you know, uh, looking at my setup and, you know, he kept changing tips. Every time he get ready to do something else, you know, he'll take his wand and he'll pull the tip off. And I was like, why does he keep pulling the tip off? I mean, he must don't know about the universal, you know, the universal tip. So he finally comes over, and uh, y'all got to excuse the earplug. It's getting on my nerves again. <laughs> uh, he finally comes over, and he asks me, he says, excuse me. And he introduced himself, and I said, uh, Eric Jones, you know. And he's like, I saw your video, man. That's you. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's me. Positive flow. I said, yeah. He's like, man. I didn't even know you was in my city, dude. I said, really? It says up there in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Anyway, man, make a long story short, I, you know, I kind of laugh every time somebody says that. I saw your video. But I was telling him about the universal nozzle, man. You can pick these puppies up at uh, Amazon or uh, you can pick them up at Home Depot. And basically what the universal nozzle is, it'll keep you from how to Switch tips all the time, man. Take your tip off for this. Take a tip off for that. No, sir. Click. Click. If it's even got the soap nozzle connected to it. You know, if you want to pull soap, if you got a reservoir on your pressure washer to pull soap, it's even got that on there. All you got to do is click it. And if your line is already in the soap reservoir, this particular one would automatically withdraw from it. All you got to do is put it on the soap dispenser. It'll suck the soap right out. A lot of people don't know about this thing, man. It's been out a long time. It's just, I don't think people, they worry about saving time for us detailing wise. You know, cleaning stuff wise. Well, let me tell you a secret. Excuse me, I got to have my caffeine. Here's the secret, man. People spend so much time, detailers, mobile detailers, or a shop detailer, they spend so much time going back and forth to get supplies, either from their cabinet or either from their van. I tell anybody, man, if you add all that time going back and forth, let's say you spend about, I don't know, five minutes going back and forth, to a detail, I mean, you know, to your van or to your uh, cabinet to get supplies, you know, supplies. If you got, let's say, four details and you spend, what, 20, I want to say 15 minutes a piece, every detail going back and forth to your van and you got three details, that's three times 15, that's five carried in one, that's 45 minutes you've wasted going back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. You want to cut down on your time. And most people spend majority of time looking for things. Oh, man, why did I put this? Or oh, why did I put that? That is a no-no. You are wasting so much time. Before you know it, you don't waste an hour of your day or hour and 15 minutes of your day looking for stuff. Or changing tips. Boop. Looking for the other tip, reach down there, boop. Now you're ready again when all you got to do is hold your wand up and click. And how? You're there. 
All right, that's one of my pet peeves right there, man. Another pet peeve. Another pet peeve is a lot of people do this different. But this is how EQ do it. It may not work for you, but it worked for me. That's all that matters. <laughs> this is a carrying bag that I carry, man. I carry my spray bottles in here. I carry my brushes in here. I carry my connector to my um, to my steamer in here. I carry my little hairbrush in here. Everything that I could possibly need. Even my phone, can it's in here. Anything I can possibly need to carry, man. I got my my uh, EQ wax, clear wax, and I got my EQ lotion wax in here that I haven't released yet, but it's coming soon. Well, watch out there now. Y'all can see my EQ products in the back. I also got them lined up here. I'll explain in a minute. But anytime I'm doing a car, I take this around with me, man. And it's light. You know, I ain't got a whole bunch of stuff in here that, it, you know, it's so heavy that I'm carrying around. No. I always start at the opposite side of the vehicle where my van is. I want to make my way back to my van. So when I get ready to put my stuff back up, all I got to do is put that bag in that van, baby, and I'm out of here. 5,000, G. <laughs> So you want to save a lot of time, man. You can get one of these at Home Depot. It's just a husky tool bag, man. You know, I've seen people, uh, they got the, uh, they put this down. They got the tool belt. You know, they put their stuff in where they can reach down and, you know, grab stuff. I, I seen one guy, he's got like a holster, you know, or like a gun holster. But it's, no, but it's got like uh, pouches in it. Whatever he's going to use, he just stick me there. So while he's in the vehicle doing whatever, he just reached down and grab him. It's all about timing. How much time do you want to spend? People keep saying, I want to get faster. But if you look at your time that you're taking to go back and forth to get supplies out of your vehicle, that's about 45 minutes or an hour if you're doing two details or three details. There's your time right there. All right, so majority of the time you want to save time. Okay, now my EQ products. Uh, this is my uh, EQ all purpose. I keep it in the spray bottle. Actually, I gotta fill it back up. Um, you can put it in a spray bottle. You can put it in a spray bottle or spray it on a rag. You know, I keep new rags. I always keep new rags. I just went to Home Depot yesterday, and I got these. Normally, I order from Amazon, but Home Depot told me I haven't used my card in 10 months, and if I don't use it by the end of the year, we're going to turn it off. So fine. Don't get so sensitive about your card. <laughs> when they bought me two things of rags, and how you doing? I'll see you next 10 months. <laughs> Can't force me to get back in the debt. You'll learn today. But anyway... The EQ All Purpose works great, man. Just open it up, get you a mist spray on the rag, rub that rag together, and you're ready to wipe your interior down. It doesn't leave a, a greasy film. You guys saw the, um, what was that? The Saturday vehicle that I done. Uh, and it doesn't leave a filmy, greasy. When they get in, it's just a clean look. You don't see no shine and arm all, all on the dash and, by the way, that collects dust, and it clogs up the pores in your leather. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I speak the truth. <laughs> but anyway, that's how you use the EQ All Purpose. The EQ Gold Soap, baby. I love this. People who've used it tell me, say, man, I don't know what you put in that stuff, man. He said, but keep doing it, dude. He said, I love this stuff, man. I'm going to order two more. And they've been ordering, man. I appreciate you guys ordering, man. You don't need much. Uh, you can pop this top open and just go around your bucket once or twice, and you're ready to go. This bottle will last you like forever. You know, depends on how many cars you do. But it's a great soap. Uh, I tested this when I kept playing around with it, playing around with it, and I put it in a bucket. And I told my wife, I said, I'm going to fill this water up with bucket. I'm going to fill this uh Soap up in that bucket, and I'm going to put some water in it, and I'm going to leave it and see if I mastered it yet. 
My wife went and I, you know, we let it sit for like two days, three days, came back. So still in that bucket. <laughs> Watch out, boy. You can test it yourself. This ain't no Kool-Aid around here. It's big truth, baby. <laughs> you can't stir me up when you don't know what the flavor is. You know? So that's how the EQ soap works, man. Great. EQ up uh, Blue Sky Tire Shine, man. I boosted this bad boy. You guys saw the um, white vehicle I did the other day for a client. or oh, well, for a customer. You see how shine those tires were. I play around with stuff. Anyway, man, you can put this when you receive it. You can pop it up. You know, I always tape the edges. You can ask there. I tape everything real good so it won't leak. Uh, you can take this, put it on a sponge, and go around your tire if you like. Or you can put it in a spray bottle and spray it. But beware. Listen to me. Beware. If you're doing something on a blacktop driveway, do not spray this. They're going to be mad at you. <laughs> they will stay in that doggone black driveway. All right? So if you're working on a black driveway, just put it on the sponge, baby. Squeeze it, put it on the sponge, go around your tire, go to the next one. And that's my EQ Blue Sky Tire Shine, man. This one I haven't released yet. I'm going to send out some care package to people and have them test it. But, um... That's what I used on the white vehicle last week. I just play around with stuff, man. You can see, I mean, you guys can't see my garage. Got a pretty good big garage. Getting ready to build me a huge one in the back. As uh, soon as, uh, you know, I get my money right, um, a couple months I start digging into that hill. And, well, I ain't going to start digging into it. They're going to start digging into it. And start putting my foundation in. I got to put me a retaining wall all the way around. And they're going to sit my two-bay garage back there where I can put my van and my trailer and Probably going to be able to fit about five cars in there. I know. I'm greedy. But I got to have space. But that's my video, man. Get you a universal nozzle. It just, I, I don't know if you can hear that click. It just clicks to the desired one that you want. But let me forewarn you. You spray first. Make sure this thing is locked in place on your one. Because even I've done it to where I sprayed this thing pop off because I didn't lock it in place. And, man, if you hit somebody's car or window and it break, hope you got insurance or cash. They're going to be pissed. <laughs> so make sure this thing is locked in place when you put it on. Click it in, baby. Pull it. And then spray it to make sure you don't have it on the straight nozzle where it'll knock the paint off people's cars. Because it's got every nozzle that you'll need on this one universal. You just click it. You know? So, that's my thing, man. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope it's informational for you. Uh, I got that, uh, my, v, my VIP customer tomorrow, my VIP client tomorrow, go do her new Suburban. Appreciate you, Miss T. Go do a new Suburban. I'll take you guys with me. But you can see my products in the back, man. You guys want to order, download your cash app. Uh, uh, get my number off my website. You can, uh, or you can just call me at 423-313-0278 and order. Or you can hit me up at equalitymaster, the number four, at gmail.com. The wax won't be available until springtime because right now it's a little too cold. But I will be sending out little test, uh, test little samples so some people can test it out. But, you know, I play around with this stuff, man, and uh, I just like playing around with stuff, you know. Like playing around with chemicals. I've been doing it so long. You know, I used to do it in the military. I worked on F-14, so I played around with chemicals all the time. Cleaning the F-14s and cleaning concrete. And so it's nothing for me to start, you know, making my own stuff. <laughs> so, but anyway, man, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope it's very informational, man. I always keep you some clean rags. I buy rags, man. I got so many rags. Oh, rags get too drenched, I throw them away, man. They get too dirty, I throw them away. Sometimes I keep some in the shop. But not many, because my wife started complaining. I don't want them rags in there. They're flammable. You put them in the garbage, buddy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, keep you some clean rags always on hand, man. Try to buy you some rags once or twice a month to keep you stocked up. And keep your supplies to where you can be in reach of them. Get you a bag or get you a holster. I mean, a, a, a tool belt or get you a holster set. So, where you ain't got to be running back and forth, okay? 
All right, man, you got to be cool. I ordered me another pod because this one broke, man. I don't know what happened, man. I, I break some stuff. My wife, she won't even buy me no more watches. I break them. <laughs> you got to be cool, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in to my video, man. Deuces.